All right, uh, uh, thought it was a good, uh, good work day. Uh, good to be able to get back out. Um, you know, coming off you know Sunday, I thought we had a good practice. You know, yesterday being the off day, um, you know, able to start implementing a uh, game plan and some some of the different looks that uh, we anticipate to see. But really continuing to to, to focus on you know our growth, our development. Um, you know, I thought all in all, it was a it was a good day. There was there were some moments of up and down. Um, some you know tried to challenge guys in, in different situations and, and give them some some different and new looks. But you know ultimately that's that's what this game's going to be a part of. Um, you know there's there's things that we're we're preparing right now that we won't see, and there's things that we're um, you know probably not preparing for that are going to show up. And you know ultimately it's 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 about how we adapt and adjust. You know you know they're on the road in in a uh, uh, unique and new situation, but you know, I believe in how these guys will continue to respond. And uh, you know, I thought we got good work today. I thought we finished up well. Just uh, some moments, you know, in the middle of practice where we have to have to be better. So um, you know, I thought it was a, thought it was a good day. And you're know, looking forward to the rest of this week and the continued growth. Jordan's Jordan's confidence level. Uh, obviously, you guys have talked about that in the last couple of years. But just seeing him go out perform on Saturday and carrying into today. It seems like it keeps growing. Uh, because it's all it's all real. And, you know, there's probably not a whole lot of you know, people or quarterbacks in the country that are going into the season saying, oh, I'm not confident. I mean, everybody says that. Um, you know, it's real with Jordan because you've seen the work. You've seen the investment. He's seen the benefits of the things that he's being asked to do and, and how well he can, he can do those. Um, you know, that doesn't mean there's not going to be mistakes, and like that's what I, you know, that's what I love is even even in the mistake, right? He builds confidence because he's taking the taking the experience and and applying a new lesson, and um, you know I just think he's in a in a great headspace, um, you know, and that's that's something that will be contagious throughout a, throughout a football team when you're when your best players you have that mindset, and uh, you know I'm I'm really pleased for for how he's coming to work with that. I talked yesterday, all the coordinators talked about having to do research on the background of some of the different coordinators and coaches on that side of the LSU. Is there a challenge of like trying to look at too many things and like kind of chasing ghosts or how do you? Well, it's it's still it's still about us, you know, and that's where you know, and I said it last week and I'll say it again this week. I'll say it probably for the next ten weeks following. Um, you know, you want to be able to prepare your guys for, to the best of your ability for what they could expect to see. But sometimes the unexpected shows up, but it still goes back to the rules. It goes back to, you know, the, the concepts, the overall understanding of, and the, the adjustments that happen within. Um, you know, there will be some plays that will be called that are probably not the best, the best play call, but there can still be the best option within that play. And, you know, that's offense, defense, special teams. And as long as our guys are tuned in to, to you know, the adjustments of what they might see, then you know they'll be able to go and perform at, at a high level. Um, but I like looking at every. I mean, I, I'm if, if I see it and I think it could give us an issue, I'm going to try to work it. So uh, uh, you know, we just we try to invest that time. How much better do you feel in year three of a program in terms of the guys being able to adjust? And no, I, I think it's huge, and, and I, I thought we did a really good job in, in the off-season program uh, with our meetings. Um, you know, just how we approach that. I thought, I thought, you know, you know, even this summer. I mean, you're going, going out there and just running on air. You know, but trying to paint the picture in their minds of what they could see, and you know, utilizing those 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 meetings for all the different looks. And uh, I just, I like where our guys are at, and they, and you know, they do have a better understanding. But there's still newcomers that are, that have been here for a couple of weeks that are out there, you know, having to to be on that same page. So it's that that's part of the process of, of continued growth. How do Brian Kelly do? Chose not to name a starting quarterback. I saw both the two potential options wrapped on the scout team today. Does that change anything about the preparation? Uh, no, sir. Would it have changed anything? I mean, we've we've prepared for all. I mean, we've so no. How different are the two quarterback options they have? Though? I mean, it's everybody has their own unique skill set that they of what they can have. But you know, I think both are capable of doing all. Of what they've shown to run in the past, and I mean, it is you know they're all going to have their own unique wrinkles. I mean, there's going to be there's going to be probably a new concept or a new scheme or something that um, you know has probably shown up, but that will show up in this game. Um, you know, they're going to play to to the strength of the starting quarterback, and so whoever that is, you know, we've got to we've got to trust what we do and, and be able to react to it. And yes, yeah, so we when we watch whether it's 
high school huddle film or whether it's, you know, uh, you know, film from other schools or different times in, in these guys, uh, you know, careers. We try to watch it all to get, you know, any any information that could benefit us. But, you know, we'll know that once that person, you know, runs on the field, well, here we go. This is this is what it's going to be. You mentioned um, Jordan Travis is um, confidence growing. Um, looks like your receivers had a really good day of practice today as well. Um, talk about you know how they're looking up there. Yeah, I mean, I really like the growth that we're seeing from the receiving core, and a lot of competition, a lot of guys that can, that can play. Um, but you're seeing that. You know that that same you know confidence level that's that's emerging through through the work they're putting in, and so um, you know, we need them to show up big this week. And you know I thought they had a good day today. Amari Gainer left uh, Saturday's game, had to boot on the sideline, yeah. was on TV. I, I guess how's he? How's he doing? Yeah, you know we were uh, we get a little bit more information. Um, you know he'll probably be you know unavailable for this week, um, but you know we we'll we'll see how it all progresses. But uh, you know that was one that. You know, we were we wanted to see how it all came came through um, yesterday, but probably going to be unavailable. How have you seen Coach Yak help the running back room? Uh, you know, he's an incredible leader of men. You know, a, a very very uh, smart football coach, detail oriented. You know, you look at his background and what he's done. Um, you know, coaching receivers, coaching backs. You know, he's done he's done it all, and um, you know he just bring he, he provides so much knowledge for them, and you know, also inspires them. And that's you know he it, it's and it's not just what you see on the field. It's just a, the the mindset of that group and everything of of who they are and what they're about. And that's why I think you see the consistency of that uh, performance that shows up. And you know, I think it just does a phenomenal job. You have a lot of guys on this team and the coaching staff as well. Louisiana ties. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's going to be emotional for everybody. I mean, you don't. Get the, uh, we was actually just talking to the team about that right now. Um, I mean, when you're you play on 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 this stage in this you know, prime time, I mean, it's it's exciting. I mean, if, if you're not excited to play in this game and coach in this game, go do something else. You know, it's really like this is awesome. I'm I'm fired up for it. But in that moment, can you still? maintain the focus, the discipline, the details. And we've seen that work well for us, and we've seen that you know, be devastating for us when we haven't been able to control that emotion. And so um, you know, that's, it's, it's time to apply the lessons. And um, you know, we will continue to talk about that maturity that's necessary. But uh, you know, I've, got, I've got confidence in our guys are going to respond. And it's one of the reasons we coach the way that we coach, to help prepare them um, you know, for some of those things that might, might arise. Can you get a feel for how the offensive line played until you go watch the film? And I'm talking about specifically like today, like a practice day. Um, uh, yes, you can, you, you can get a feel. You can get a feel for it. Um, you know, physicality, effort, you know, tempo, you know, how guys are communicating. There's going to, but when it comes to the finer details of, I mean, somebody makes it just a, a glaring bust. You know, there's that's going to show up. But um, you know, if you're looking at all five as one, there might be something that you that you need to pick up on film. Um, but you, you, there's definitely things that you'll be able to address throughout the course of a practice. And how much does it help that you do have so much versatility? It seems really with many of your guys on this offensive line, to be able to just have that versatility. Well, I mean, it's I mean, as we saw how it you know, showed up on uh, on Saturday. I think we played was it 14 14 O linemen, um, which was a great thing, and many of them played different positions. Um, you know, it's because you. you it, being able to have those those experiences it just helps with communication. You know, being out there on the field. You know, we try to do it in practice, but then you know there is, you know, there there is a uh, an importance of the continuity of that communication, and that's why everybody has to speak the lang same language. Everybody's got to make sure that they're um, that they're they're on the same page whenever they, whether it's in the meeting room. That's why I mean the intensity in our meeting room is you know we try to make it out here because you know every one of those reps of being able to talk you know trust what you see you know get it out you know and and have everybody on the same page you know it's you know all those reps matter and and you know the Alex does a great job with that but it's you know we so you, you don't see a whole lot of just relaxed moments because you're never going to be a relaxed moment on the field you know you, you you if you prepare that way then you'll be confident and calm in the moment that defensive line well, seems like it could be a handful. Um, I mean, if you're not able to fully neutralize it and win it up there, do you still like at least your matchups on the, the back end of their defense to be able to win that kind of game? I mean, it's a talented team. I mean, you look at you look at their uh, at their defense. I mean, they've got top draft picks. Um, you know, uh, say multiple first rounders. You know, throughout the throughout the defense um, of what they're doing. You know, you look at the D line. You look linebacker. You look. Uh, you know, I've seen the secondary. You know, they got four. Um, 
you know, four, four new corners into the program. You know, we've watched, you know, all, all from their past, past places they've been. The two safeties are, are guys that have been there and kind of, you know, I'm sure will be, be uh, you know, a stabilizing force for them. But it's, it's a talented group there defensively. So, um, you know, we've got to go, you know, play our best game and, uh, you know, put our guys in position to, to do what they do. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you,